Hello, YouTube people. Wow, it's been quite a time. No, it hasn't. Uh, I streamed yesterday. But, uh, in all real honesty, though, I kind of like iOS 9.3.5. I don't even know if I want to downgrade it. Because I can have custom fonts, custom messages, as you see right here, custom keyboard. Hey, what's up, Mini Cooper? How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. But, uh, I don't even know if I want to downgrade this thing. I kind of like it. But then again, it's really slow. And I kind of want a faster device. So I'm going to downgrade it. And if it works, I'm going to go ahead and update it again. And read Joe Break. 9.3.5. I'm doing A-OK. -okay. Uh, not feeling good. Everybody's pissed about the halftime show, etc, etc. I don't know. But here's my keyboard. Works flawlessly on my iPod Touch here. Like, boom. I don't. It's not even anything from the App Store either. It's from the Cydia Store. But uh, here's a stock iOS device running iOS 12.0.1. Uh, so this is stock. Nothing, nothing new to it. I have files on here as well, but I, I can't use it because it's not 4K supported. So it's just going to crash my iPod, as you see right here. There you go. Just crashed it for you guys. Anyway, this video or this live stream is about how to downgrade iOS 9.3.5 to 8.4.1. Without really a computer, the only thing you'll need a computer for is for the build number, but that's it. So what you're essentially going to go ahead and do is open up files uh, and go through the system. I, I don't even know if I want to do this. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i just update it if it works. So what you go ahead and do is open up files. Uh, you're going to download this from the City of Store as well. You're going to go all the way back to system. Thank you, Cooper. I appreciate that, my friend. You're going to go all the way back to backslash. Or, yeah, that's backslash. You're going to go ahead and click on uh, System, uh, Library. You're going to find Core Services. <clears throat> so, Core Services right here. We're going to go all the way to the very bottom until we find System PLIST. Or System Version PLIST. There we go. This one right here, you're going to go ahead and tap on it. Go ahead and click on Root. Uh, that's not what I want to. Go ahead and click on it again. Click on Root. And it should pop up as not that. Dang, I screwed this up already. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and click on root and we're going to go ahead and go to product version. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and click on the product version. If I can tap on it, uh, here we go. I'm going to change this to 6.0. Now, there's other devices that you can use this on, uh, meaning you can change it to six or 5.0 uh, and update to iOS 6, but that's only for certain devices like the iPhone 4, 4S, and 5. I'm pretty sure the 5. But my iPod Touch can only go up to 8.4.1 as in terms of older versions. Hey, Yoshi Dreamer, we're downgrading this to iOS 8.4.1 .4 without a computer. The only thing we need this for is the build version number uh, instead of the iOS version. Well, we're going to have to put in the build number. So we're going to go ahead and put in 6 point... No oh crap. No oh crap. 6 point zero. There you go. 6 point zero is now typed in. And we're going to go ahead and click on return. As you see, I got a couple jailbreak tweaks in here. This is iOS 9.3.5. This does not go up to any other version right now. So we're going to go ahead and... And go back. And we're going to go to product version. Alright, so that is not the product version. Product build version. Here you go. Alright, and as you see, there's a product number. The value is what the software is running. So I'm going to go ahead and prove to you that this is real. I'm going to go over to the computer now. We're going to type in Chrome. Alright, I was doing this all wrong. I forgot to use files uh, and I forgot how to do it because it's been a while. Um, so we're going to go to the computer, we're going to type in IPSW.me. Alright, just look for IPSW.me. This is for all the iOS versions that are out right now. <laughs> uh, so we're going to click on iPod, iPod Touch 5. Here's 9.3.5, right? So we're going to click on this. Here is the... The build number is not here. Huh, where's the build number? Uh, okay, did I do it wrong again? Dang it. 
So essentially what you're gonna do is go to here, iPod 5, and here's the restore thing. Oh, wait, is it in here? Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That's where it's at. Okay, I found it. So when you click on iOS 9.3.5, here is the current product build number. iOS 13G36, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my device here. Unlock it. Who likes my font, by the way? Welcome back, Cooper. Uh, 13G36, right? 13G36. So this is 9.3.5. This is the only uh, firmware that this can go up to. So we're going to go ahead and go find 6.0. Alright, so we're going to go back. Let's go all the way down until you find iOS 6.0. And it is 10A406. Alright. So, alright Cooper, see ya bud. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to go back and see here. We're going to go back to... Oh crap, I broke it, I think. <gasps> I broke it! Oh no! Well, guess it's time to restore the device and start all over again. Because I completely broke it. I click delete. Um. Uh, I broke it. Let me remove files though real quick. Let me I'm going to have to remove files though from the city store and reinstall it. Because that's not good if I broke it. Alright. Uh, let's see if that works. If it does not work, it's time to restore the device live. For you guys, and then redo the entire setup process, and that's gonna be fun. Yay! So when you go to installed, I deleted a file. That's not good. Oof. Uh, don't do what I do and use the phone in your hand while doing this, because this is not not fun at all. So we're just gonna go find. Hey Sarah, how's you? And I was going to downgrade this, but I completely screwed up and deleted something. CDF. Where's files? I don't even have it in here. Are you kidding me? Files. Uh. Huh. <laughs> Let me go ahead and, oh, it's not even installed on my device? That's weird. Oh, I was downgrading this and then I complete. oh! No! <gasps> We're saved! We're saved! We're saved! We're saved, everybody! Look at that! Product build version's back! We're good! Whew! That scared the living crap out of me! I was scared! Thank God for this file ver manager! Alright, so we're downgrading this iOS device. It's on 9.3.5. So I'm going to show you guys this. Oh, we're saved. Yes. Did you guys hear about the Super Bowl last night? I heard it was really bad. Anyway, 9.3.5. That's what this is on. And I'm downgrading it to iOS 8.4.1. Um, but <clears throat> thank God for this files of manager for the whole save thing. Oh, I'm so scared. I thought I broke it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and re-enter the build number real quick 6.0 go ahead and go back go ahead and go to product build version go ahead and edit that as well and see so you had just deleted the value it's going to be 10a 406 10 a 406 Return. Oops, that's not what we want. Done. Save. Alright, now we should be on iOS 6.0, technically. So we'll go over to settings about... So we're on iOS 6.0. Sorry for the blurry stuff. Alright, so there you go. We can go ahead and reboot. If this does not work, then we're restoring it no matter what. So we're going to go ahead and reboot. <clears throat> go slide to reboot. Or turn off. This is how I did it last time, and I completely forgot how to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna try, if my dad will let me, and use his iPhone 4 and downgrade it to iOS 6. See if it works, and if it works, I'm gonna be amazed. Uh, but, yeah, apparently the Super Bowl was very bad last night. I don't know if any of you guys watched it. The Super Bowl was really bad last night, to the point my mom didn't even like it. My mom loves football. My mom absolutely loves football. 
and she hated it. She didn't hate it. She didn't like the game, the Super Bowl. And they they uh, did a tribute for SpongeBob, uh, the creator of SpongeBob, because he died, and uh, and they only played like five seconds of the intro, and then they just went to some unknown rapper, and everybody all over the internet is pissed at uh, NFL and Mercedes Benz Studio, or Mercedes Benz Stadium. Sorry, they are pissed. Because they didn't get the full Sweet Victory song from Spongebob. <laughs> I know! That's where I, that's where I was coming from. You read my mind. Oh man, that's kind of that's scary actually. <laughs> that's very scary that you read my mind like that. But as you see... <clears throat> it's doing an update kind of thing. I don't really know what I'm talking about to be quite honest with you. I'm just doing it because I want to downgrade. But once this does this, you cannot read Jailbreak because it's going to think you're on a different version than what you are currently running on. No, you stopped reading my mind. You read my mind, okay? You read my mind. It ain't my fault you read my mind. Dang. Look at that, guys. Look at that Apple logo. If this works, I'm gonna be... Uh, after this, I'm gonna try it with the iOS 5. But I know this did not go to iOS 5. So I don't even want to try it. By doing this, because uh, 9.3.5 has a un semi-untethered jailbreak, meaning you turn off your device, turn it back on, you have to re-enable re uh, the jailbreak. And, um... <clears throat> yeah, so... That's why I want to downgrade for an untethered jailbreak. And there is one. It's called ETA Sun Jailbreak or something like that. Continue. Oh, I'll be right. I'll have to enter this in. I don't want you guys knowing my password. Sorry, I'm a little tech nerd. Don't mind me, I'm a tech nerd. I love this stuff. I love playing with devices. Especially this one. There's a thing on here now that if you uh, use the Siri shortcuts... Hold on. Blurry, blurry, blurry. If you do Siri short shortcuts, you can uh, click on... You can get the iTweak shortcut. And what this does is it essentially allows me to tweak my device kind of thing. Uh, so I can go to power settings I can go to respring and it'll just respring the device just like a jailbreak would so that's pretty cool it skip the whole boot logo all right so I can't read jailbreak files that no longer works as you see Twitter still works but that's fine Cydia doesn't work anymore so we're gonna go ahead and go to settings I'm hoping this works we're gonna go to general software update I'm gonna wait a little bit for an update this is all without a computer. Like, my iPod is not plugged into a computer right now. My controller and my headphones are, but my iPod is not. This works, I'll just re-update it to iOS 9.3.5. I don't really care anymore. iOS 9.3.5 has been a, a good software for me on this iPod. Checking for update, the spinning wheel of torture. Oh, man. I'm not feeling good today either, you guys. Like, I had... Last night for dinner, we had uh, a Mexican place. And I don't think that's what caused it, but I also think it is what caused it as well. Because my mom wasn't feeling good either. So, we eventually, we should see a software update. If this all works correctly. If anybody's still here, let me know in the comments. Nice. I don't get 
like what normal people would get at a Mexican restaurant. I just get a bean and cheese burrito and that's it. Sometimes I'll get beans and rice as well on the side. But I'm picky with my Mexican foods. Bean, or I'm uh, picky at certain Mexican restaurants that do uh, beans and rice. Because they add different things that I don't like in there. Kind of thing. So I'm just like, eh, I'll just stick to burritos. This better pop up with an update. It's taking forever. As you see, this device doesn't get that many updates at all. Which is why it's taking so long. Hmm. Oh, you get chicken, chicken quesadillas. Are those any good? I know. I want to try that actually. That sounds good now. Are they good? Oh, notifications are just popping through. But yeah, everybody on Twitter is mad about the. Here, let me let me let me show you what I mean while this is doing its thing. So we're going to go, oh, I thought it did it for a second. We're going to go to my Twitter account. Go here, launch Twitter. I'm going to show you what I mean for a minute. While this is doing its thing. All right, so we're just going to go, look. Oh, that's not it. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to type in sweet... Victory. Look at this. Sweet victory right here. Don't mind my phone going off. <gasps> it worked, you guys. Look at that. It worked. It worked. <laughs> As you see, we used no PC to do this. So there's a downgrade for it. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, but look, as you see, everybody. Everybody. Is like, even the, the restaurants are upset about it. I'm gonna like that, and I'm actually gonna retweet it. Screw it, retweet. But everybody is just like talking about it, which is kind of crazy to think about it. Hey, what's up, Mrs. Green Thumb? It's been a while. Uh, now we just gotta wait for this software version to download, and I'm running 9.3.5. Look. Look, 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 I, or, the, I had to change the build version, but I'm running iOS 9.3.5. And this is the only version I can go up to on this iPod. But, somehow have an OTA update for iOS 8.4.1. Anyway, back to over here, let's go to search. Uh, everybody, the whole half time apparently was horrible. No worries. But, the whole, uh, apparently the whole half time was terrible yesterday. I didn't watch the game, so I don't know. Squidward goes sicko mode. Oh, that's great. Psycho mode, sicko mode, whatever. Yeah, everybody is just, like, talking about the halftime show. My mom loves football. She loves football. She said the game was just terrible. And the... I know, that's what my mom was saying. She was like, oh, the game was awful. The commercials were terrible. They even played the SpongeBob Sweet Victory for, like, three seconds or five seconds. Like, I love Spongebob. I, I grew up around Spongebob. I've watched every single episode, of, up, uh, including the latest ones. I've seen every episode, including the latest ones. And, uh... I, I don't know. Uh, I think it was some rapper that I don't know, as well as Maroon 5. But they, they played, like, three seconds of Spongebob Sweet Victory, and everybody on the internet is pissed. Like, everybody's going ham on the Mercedes, the Mercedes Stadium because they, they did a tribute to that. Let me go find it real quick. Let me go to my profile here. If you want to follow me on Twitter, go for it. It's just at Jesse Plays. Uh, you don't watch people. Neither do I. But, uh, but Mercedes Benz tweeted a thing at their studio. Look at this. They did that. I don't want to play too much of it because of copyright reasons, but... Yeah, they did it at their stadium with an empty stadium and everybody's going ham on them. Look. 
Everybody's going ham on Mercedes Stadium. Fat, wow, that's, that's insane, you guys. Yeah, that's why I only played like 30 seconds of it, so. But. <laughs> uh, don't mind my phone going off like crazy. I've been blowing up all morning. But, uh. Yeah. This device should be getting a jailbreak pretty soon, too. Right here, I was 12.0. I was 12.0 to 12.1.2. I'm on iOS 12.0.1. Boom. I stayed on this version. I know it's not the latest software update. Yeah, you too, Mrs. Green Thumb. Thank you for coming in. I really do appreciate it. Things have been kind of slow lately with my channel. It's been dying off uh, for the last week and a half, so. But I tweak. Go to power settings. Respring. That's my favorite part. But yeah, things have been really slow lately, so... Here's my PC setup, by the way. If you like it, let me know in the comments. But, uh... For some reason, it's not showing me my likes, so... WWW... Uh, I'll be figuring it out. WWW... YouTube.com... Slash Jesse Plays YT. I have to be exact. Why are you on freaking cap locks, man? Here we go. And here's my channel. As you see, it's been kind of slow lately. Actually, I, I was at 1,053 yesterday, but, uh, yeah. There, there you guys are. But, uh, look at this. Still downloading. <clears throat> and then we got, let me pull you guys up real quick. I'm gonna see what the likes are. Because it's not showing me on... I mean, it, yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> oh, that's good. That's what happened to me when I tried to load up my YouTube channel that one day when I said I thought it got deleted. It wouldn't even load. Oh, that scared the crap out of me again. Oh, man, that really did scare the living crap out of me. Where are we at on likes? Four likes, that's not bad. <laughs> but, yeah. The channel has been slowing down a lot lately. Hmm. You guys don't know who Jeff Statics World is, and I just completely soiled it. Soiled it. Let me go. Stop going to the search page, you dumb. I. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Go. You are a garbage iPod sometimes. Even though it's like one of the latest iPods out until the new one comes out. There's okay, so you know how Apple stops uh, working on the newer iPod or on the iPods in general. Well, there's actually a new one coming out. There's literally a new one coming out. If you don't know who Just Edit's World is, he's a good guy, one of my good friends. I don't really watch him that much anymore. I had to retap his bell, but uh, that's okay. I don't watch him that much anymore because I'm doing my own thing. But he does explore videos, stuff like that. Good guy. But, uh... Ooh. Heck yeah. But, uh... Yeah, they're making a new iPod Touch 7th generation. And I'm excited to see if I can even get it. But if not, I'll just stick to iPhone. Think what this is done downloading and starts updating. I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream because that's pretty much it. Either that or I'll just wait till it's done updating. And then I'll end the stream. Because I'm starving and I need some food. I don't know if they did or not. I can't really test that out right now. I mean, I probably could. Here, let me try and see. Uh, oh, wait, I can't because this is iOS 11 or 12 and that's iOS 9. I bet you FaceTime won't. I'm going to try this real quick. Hold on. 
So we're going to go ahead and use this one. Ah, it works. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Uh, I can't use the group time thing, but... Yeah, there you go. I have no idea what number we're showing there, but you don't need to see that anymore. Oh yeah. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Downloaded. Install now. Goodbye, Joe Break. I wonder if it's going to restore the factory settings. I don't remember if that does that. If it does not do that, then... Yeah. Look at this, guys. That was 8.4.4.1. 8.4.4.1. You can't talk. No waiting game, my friends. Alrighty. I was 12.2 new and emojis and more. Oof. Well, I mean, this is really all I got on my computer. I don't have much on my PC. Like, look, this is all I have on here. For the most part, uh, if you go to extras here, if I can find it. I can get rid of that because I don't need it anymore. Uh, extras. And we can go ahead and drag this over here. Make this bigger. Unplug you guys and bring you guys over here. This is what else I have. And these are all games. So, except for the bottom two, they're not games. And the middle as well. Like... Da Vinci, that's for my editor. But everything else except for the bottom two are games. Like, here. Steam is like the best place to download games. Oh, look at that. I forgot I took that picture. Oh, this is new. <laughs> anyway, this is the best place for games. We're going to go to the library here. I have, like, a lot of games. Here's my game list. I'm going to make it bigger for you guys. Alright. So. American Truck Simulator. Arc. Beam and G Drive. City Black, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. City Car Drive and Conan. I mean you guys can see the list. It goes on and on and on. And on. And on. And on. Like it's just a lot of games. There you guys go, this is my game list. Oh, my armor hurts really bad. I need to set you guys up on something. I'll just kind of set you guys up like this, and I'll go ahead and rotate. And uh, rotate. Hi, everybody. We're still waiting for the download. Are they installing thing? Why is it taking this long? Let me switch Wi-Fi connections real quick. Someone that's UG, that's my problem. Haha, <laughs> I don't do Apple stuff anymore. Why don't you do Apple stuff no more? Do you still have any Apple uh, Apple stuff? If you do, send it over here. I'll take it. You know I'll take it. Just like I took Kimmy's iPhone 4 that one time. <laughs> yeah, I'll gladly take it. I don't care. And it should hopefully install. Why aren't you installing? It's not working, you guys. This device is so slow and old that it doesn't want to work. Oh, like how, like broken as in cracked or broken as in it doesn't work anymore? So 
Sorry, I'm a. I like taking old stuff from people. That's kind of my thing. Sometimes shaking the device works. I'm gonna try rebooting the device real quick. This does not work. I guess I have to restore again. You have to send me a picture of it. Corn dogs. Cause we didn't bring home leftovers last night. Uh, it ain't working guys. Let me close out of the software settings real quick and try it again. Settings. Oh my gosh, you need to. Actually, let me reboot. I'm gonna try rebooting real quick. Actually, no, I'm gonna reboot the other way. Oh, seems legit. You need to see uh, a bottom shot so I can do this. Best way to reboot it, man. That's the best way for me to reboot. I think I remembered I had to reboot it. You see my phone cord, I think. No, you see my hand. Here's my phone cord. You guys are plugged in. <clears throat> you need to have some corn dogs. Don't make me go over there and make you some, okay? Because I will. I know how to make them in an oven, and they're really good. Nice. Here we go. We're in. Settings. General. <laughs> I think you should. I think you might get some views. Mm, this is going to take forever. Well, um, I'm going to go have food before it gets too late. And I'll let you guys know if this installs or not in DMs or on Twitter. So, I'm going to go have food. Uh, I'm starving. I need food. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, as you see, it's got the 8.4.1 stuff, but it's going to take forever to install. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so the way I cook them, this is just the way I do it. I put them in the oven. Set or No, I don't put them in the oven. I set the oven to 375. And then I wait till it hits 375. And then I open it. I put them in the oven. Cook them for 18 minutes. Take them out. And that's it. And you eat them. And it's really good. It's really that easy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. I need to turn off this thing real quick where is the auto lock here you go never it should pr hopefully work all right well i'm gonna go i'll let you guys know if this is installed love you guys thanks for tuning in